Hello friends. Today in this very energetic session, we are going to see a very famous poem written by William Shakespeare, All the World's a Stage. Let me introduce first of all, I am Mr. Rajesh Dattatre Zankar, Department of English, KSKW, Sidco College, Nasi. Friends, William Shakespeare is the name in the English literature. We call William Shakespeare as the father of English literature. The world famous drama has been written by Shakespeare. As well as William Shakespeare was invented a sonnet which we know to those sonnet as a Shakespearean sonnet. And he has written several poems also. He has not given any title to the sonnet which he has written. Friends, this poem is very special because this poem suggests you what exactly we all are, for what we are over here in this world and how is our end. Now the curiosity has been begun within you. So what is there in this poem? This title itself suggests it might be talking about the stage. No, sir, it may be talking about the world. Yes or no? Let us see. First of all, let us know about the poet because before going to see any sort of drama, short story or any part of literature, one must know the some background about the author. Where is our Shakespeare was born? The Shakespeare was born at Stratford upon Avon, which was a very small town near about 100 miles away from the London. William was the third child of a leather merchant and Mary Arden. By 1592, Shakespeare had begun his career as an actor and playwright in London. In 1594, Shakespeare joined the Lord Chamberlain's Theatre Company, which was very, uh, we could say, the turning point in William Shakespeare's life. And Shakespeare wrote about 37 plays. In those plays, histories, comedies, tragedies, as well as the romances also. As we know that Shakespeare was worldwide respect and appreciation. And this appreciation and respect we will get, the Shakespeare will get only because of his writing, writing style. He was recognized as the poet of the world also. World famous dramatist, his plays have been translated into several languages. Probably would say that in each and every language. Performed in the remotest corners of the world also. Here is the poem, All the World's a Stage. In this session, we are going to just know about the author and we will read the poem only. I'll read out the poem. And all the men and women merely players, they have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages, at first the infant, mewling and plucking in the nurse's arms, then the winning schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail, unwilling to school and then the lover, sighing like furnace with a awful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow, then a soldier full of strength 
oaths and bearded like a pard. Jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation. Even in the cannon's mouth and then the justice. And then the justice in fair round belly with good cap on lean, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise swords and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His youthful horse well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk Shang and his big manly voice turning again toward childish dribble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, the ends this strange eventful history in second childness and mere oblivion. Sand stith Sands eyes, sands test, sands everything. So, friends, for today's session, we have just talked about the author, and we just listen the poem. In the next session, we will go line by line. Till then, goodbye. Stay home. Stay safe.